Why, hello everybody. Welcome back to A Link to Gaming. Now what you're probably thinking is, right off the bat, if you've seen the thumbnail and you're looking at this right now, or if you hadn't even paid attention to the thumbnail and you're seeing the front screen, why is DJ playing Elden Ring? And where's Brittany? Well, with everything going on in the house lately and whatnot, she's tired, you know. She's not very into Elden Ring so much, but... I am. So while she's resting and getting some well-needed sleep and relaxation like she deserves, I've been playing Elden Ring in my free time and I've been looking on the internet and I've been seeing a lot of builds. And you know this channel is all about Legend of Zelda content for the most part. If you haven't noticed the Skyward Sword playthrough that me and Brittany have done along with the continuing as of right now uh, link to the past that she's playing through or of her she plays a link to a past and you're probably wondering is like why is this video coming out not one of those well I wanted to impart onto the Elden Ring community world YouTube and this channel my interpretation of the Legend of Zelda meets Elden Ring I've gone ahead and I've made Link, or at least what Link would be in a from software game. You know, Link meets what's it called? Uh, Elden Ring, Link meets Bloodborne, Link meets Dark Souls. Our hero of the goddess or of the reincarnation cycle that is the Legend of Zelda and a bloodthirsty, just ruthless. But very addicting game. So I present to you my interpretation of Link. He's not the greatest appearance wise. You can always go through and readjust your character's you know, features. But he is the blue eyed, blonde, golden haired hero that we have. As you can kind of see, unfortunately, this game doesn't have the classic tunic and hat that our beloved and favorite hero has but you see on his head I've gone ahead and I've equipped him with the navy hood noble gloves and the noble trousers which is all part of a set the, the noble set that can be found out in let me go ahead and pull up the map out in the capital area by the windmills out all the way over here you defeat I want to say you beat a noble boss and then he just drops the armor set for you now for his top his tops called the guardian uh, the guardian garbs those you get from if you're lucky you know you can I want to say you raise your arcane to help discovery or pop a silver foot to help bring in and build up um, discovery for armor drops Elden Ring's been out for a bit, so I'm pretty sure everybody's tracking or following on how, you know, item drops work. But those guardians that linger around the minor Erd trees, they drop these. These are pretty much what they wear. Now, when you're trying to think of, you know, when you think of Link or Legend of Zelda, you think of the Master Sword, you think of the Hylian Shield, you think of his abilities and stuff like that, and you know what in this world contributes to you know the Triforce or the themes thereof well I found it quite ironic that when you play through the game you have a selection you know of items one in which is the Crimson Amber Medallion that later on you go through the game and you can find a plus one and plus two version of it along with the Cerulean and the Viridian uh, I think this is amazing. I enjoy this because this is a great representation of power, wisdom, and courage. You know, our three all-knowing attributes of the Triforce and, you know, of our, our, our fabled Link, Zelda, and Ganon or Gandorf, depending on where, where you are in the series or what you prefer playing. These are excellent, you know, signs or shows for it. And it kind of brings back memories of actually the game we're playing as a, a link to the past. As like the three medallions. Oh, get the three pendants of power, courage, and wisdom. 
As for the rest of his loadout, uh, Link is my Link is running the Kite Shield, which you can get from a merchant. Um, so you can just pretty much just buy that off. But also the Sword of Night and Flame. Yeah, the sword got nerfed, I want to say, within the first patch of the games like coming out. It is the closest thing I can find that is jeweled or kind of sculpted similar to the Master Sword. But I've also got the Lord's Worn, you know, straight sword with, well, you can throw on an Ash of War, which I'll show you shortly. Um, which kind of gives you the effect of, you know, throwing a, a beam of light or a, a slash of light. You know, what the Master Sword is commonly known for in some games. Uh, I'm running around with the Sacred Relic Sword because it has a double helix design. Kind of like our Fierce Deity Blade. Granted, it's not, you know, big and blue and, you know, ominous like it is in Majora's Mask, but... It has that helix pattern, and it is a weapon of holy magic, which, you know, our hero, you know, governed by the Triforce. And then we have our big boy sword, our big Goron sword, if you will, the Royal Great Sword. Um, this is probably the closest thing I can find that gives off the big Goron sword vibe. It's huge. It's a colossal greatsword which fits perfectly. And it's just menacing looking. Uh, and what's great is when you do double wield it, it's pretty much the exact same way that Link is holding it, like in, in Arcarina time. This is the closest that I can get Link to being, you know, Link in this game. Uh, you've probably noticed my character's level and everything. 243. Uh, I've been putting him through tests, taking down bosses, fighting other bosses. Um, I do plan on kind of respecting his stats, moving him around a little bit more. Um, I know there are soft caps on certain things. Um, but faith. Faith has been something I've had to work in myself for Link because, well... Link is capable of spells. He's capable of incantations, you know, to an extent. You know, Dense Fire is a perfect example. Arcarina of Time is a very favored game of any Legend of Zelda fan. Um, so with that being said, Link is capable of casting spells, or incantations in this case, uh, that revolve around the will and power of the goddesses. So, I haven't fully found all incantations and spells but I have a number of healing spells as you can look there at the bottom right a number of healing spells and a few a few offensive spells to kind of help you know him survive some very intense boss battles but one thing I do like to point out is the mimic tier um I love this little guy or Link's equivalent this is shadow or dark link in my opinion this is this is link that you get, to, you get to bring in your other half. He does exactly everything you do. Whatever you're carrying, whatever you're wearing, he's got it. He does it. He can do it. He will do it. This little guy here is my shadow link, but he cooperates and works with me, which is excellent. Perfect. Um, You know, our wondrous flask, I give him a significant uh, negate, significantly negates damage received, also restoring health. Uh, if I remember correctly, you know, Lynx had a spell in Arcarina of Time where he puts a protective barrier around himself. This right here, Opaline Bubble Tear, is kind of like that. It's, it's it's that barrier he gets to put from uh, uh, in Arcarina of Time. He gets to put it on himself. He can tank some damage. I'm about to start my new game plus, my first new game plus. I, I played this game all the way through and have done extra stuff on the side, you know, chased achievements. So with that being said, you know, willing of those of the viewers of the channel would like to see Link and his glory take down Elden Ring on new game plus, leave a comment below. Also, if you have any suggestions on better gear, better concepts, spells, incantations that would better fit the hero of the goddess, hero of time, hero of heroes,
persona you know leave it in the comments below you know this character that i'm making that i i, I love playing by the way like i will not remove any garb that he has I'm not even going to remove his medallions that he has on. The only thing I do plan on changing is this talisman right here. And that varies depending on what, you know, I go through. Uh, I have the Golden Order seal, which, you know, can be found at the Minor Earth Tree Church in the capital as well. A lot of this stuff can be found later in the game after getting past, uh, what is it, Renala? You know, her getting beating her when you're getting into the capital area. Uh... This character, like, I've grown very attached to Link in this game. And he is by far my favorite my favorite character design, very concept. It makes me feel like I can do a little bit more in this world. You know, having an open world, you know, playing Breath of the Wild or any other game. Link is in a real life or death video game and that kind of gives me the edge of you know there is loss there is no falling off a cliff and respawning back at the entrance or getting the game over and then just spawning back at your house this is you know you you lose runes you know and if you're not careful they'll be forever gone you know and if you don't do things in a certain pattern or a certain way you don't even get the opportunity to collect those items so um, again, you know, I got the Breath of the Wild hood going on with the Navy hood because they don't have a classic, you know, green cap. So this is Link if he got taken to the, the two, two Dark Souls, essentially, you know, the Elden Ring. He's not searching for the Triforce. He's searching for the Elden Ring. And I'm going to cut to this picture because it is the perfect, perfect tit for tat uh link going against the pot which is hilarious one of my buddies had sent this to me and it just fits perfectly link is going up against a pot the pot smasher himself having <laughs> the rolls the tables turned on him and by all means like this game is fun if you haven't played it download it go to your friend's you know, house played on his PC, played on his console. You know, give it a try, watch them play it. It is an amazing game to play. Everything is beautiful, and you can you can do anything. I've seen different types of builds for just about anything. I've seen bleach builds. I've seen uh, seven deadly sin builds. You know, anime fans around the world are taking like grasp of this game and everything that is in it is designing their own character builds. This game is worth the money you put into it. And it, it just speaks for itself. It, it does. It's hard. It's difficult. But it's worth getting into. So, without further ado, I'm not going to hold you guys on any longer. This is A Legend of Zelda meets Elden Ring. In this case. If you want to see more videos of Link taking down... What is it? Uh, taking down Moog, taking down Renala, taking down Radon, taking taking down the Erd Tree itself. You know, take becoming the Elden Lord. Let me know in the comments below. I am down for just dropping content on this game as Link, New Game Plus. I'm ready to go. But until next time, everybody. Stay tuned. We will be dropping our next video for She Plays A Link to the Past. Stay tuned for it. And go ahead and smack the like and subscribe button. It helps support the channel. We, we're, we're small. We're a small channel. Small small gamers. And uh, yeah, hit the notification bell. Especially if you're looking for more Elden Ring slash Legend of Zelda content. Especially this. It'll give you a notification on your phone. Or when you pull up YouTube on your browser, we drop content. So, until until next time, everybody, stay tuned. And like Brittany said, may the Triforce be with you. Oh, yeah. I did mention, 
Yeah, I got him. I fucking completely forgot. So I found his Ash of War, and I didn't exactly, like, as soon as I saw it, like, I knew instantly what it would be good for. And I just, I think it's just a great Ash of War in general. Like, it's awesome. And it brews your blade with light. Like, look at this. Look, look at this shit. Like, okay, let me go ahead and boom. And it just throws. It just throws it. And then your sword does holy damage even more. And then also, you can put parry on your sword too. You can parry. You can, like, Breath of the Wild, just deflect shit. Like, you can't get any any more Legend of Zelda-esque than this. Like, where is, where is it at? Where is it at? I'm like, I'm going nuts right now. I don't have to do anything. Just fucking... Just, bam! Oh, we're going to go find somebody. We're going to go find somebody real quick. Ooh, come on. Damn, boom! It's a parry is amazing. Granted, I'm also very high level. <laughs> it's just picking on small fries. But yes, like I love this. I just I absolutely love this. Pairing. Holy magic in my blade. Boom. Subscribe for more. I'm out.